Fashola Farm Estate. And as you can see, it's a farm estate uh, with amenities and recreational activities. The gateway section of the Fashola Farm Estate and uh, here we have the warehouses, we have 10 of them. We have the uh, mini clinic and uh, fire station and then we have the plant and equipment shed where um, all the equipment like um, tractors are going to be serviced and all of that. And that's the major road uh, that you can see that uh, leads us to the uh, farm area but these are the infrastructure area right now so we have an hostel uh, where uh, students can lodge or outsiders can stay whenever they are here so it's just uh, generally farming and entertainment mm -hmm. infrastructures uh, amenities and then all other things too that uh, are also on this side so we have uh, a nine hole golf field which is at the K2 of the farm estate we have uh, the golf course we have the golf house we have mini clinic I mean we have the crutch we have the admin and then we have a leisure center still under construction and then luxury apartments so it's all encompassing We have um, luxury apartments, like the ones we are seeing there. We have like uh, five of them right now. That is uh, about 90% uh, completed. Then we have the um, golf building. That this includes the golf house, the golf uh, uh, workshop, and several several other things like that. We also have. Um, the admin block, which is, uh, I'm sure that's the entrance you came in through. We have a crutch, we have um, warehouses and factories, which are the investors, most of them have uh, acquired. The next um, in the next 30 to 60 days, mm. we are good to go. Because when we got here, it was a virgin land. When we got here, it was a virgin land, and we made good our promise to deliver in time. So before the end of the year, everything, by the time you come back here, you'll see that everything is working and is functioning. the first of its type. It's a laudable project uh, conceptualized by Oisada um, by and the state government and want to thank engineer Sheyi Makinde for giving us this opportunity and for creating the avenue for us to showcase what we can do and how to move the people of Oyo state forward. 